Stuart Brunt, in this video I want to quickly explain uh, what a nonpoint calibration test is and um, how to find the nonpoints. Okay, so let's get started. The nonpoint calibration test um, is basically finding nine different points for nine different uh, percentages of your span. Alright, so let's get started. Now, here we go. Here's your nine points right here. Alright, and as we can see, each point is a percentage of our span that increases in 25% increments up to 100% starting with 0% and then decreasing back down to 0% from 100%. So really, all we really have to focus on when we're trying to find our nine points are the first five points because these next four points are just in reverse of these. As we can see, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 16, 12, 8, 4. Okay, so Anytime we have a transmitter, okay, we're going to be using our industrial signal because to represent each of these percentages of our span. Okay, so 0% of our span, a 4 milliamp signal is going to be sent out from our transmitter. Okay, and at a maximum um, percent of our span, a 20 milliamp signal is going to get sent. Okay, and at 25%, so on and so forth. Okay, so now here we are. We want to find our nine points because we want to calibrate a pressure transmitter. All right, we want to test it with our nine point calibration test. We see that our LRV is 30, our URV is 60. What do we, what do we want first? We want the span. Everything is reliant upon the span, and in this case, our span is 30 psi. So how do we get our nine points now? Well, we don't really have to worry about this because we know that once we get the first section here, okay, these numbers, it's really just in reverse. As you can see, um, 52, 52, 45, 45, 37, 37, 30, 30. Okay, well, so now we only need to focus on these, but look, look at this. We're given our LRV, which is 0% of our span, that's our LRV right here, 30 PSI. We're given our URV, 100% of our span. So really, we've got those, so now we just need to focus on this. All right, so how are we gonna get the 25%, 50%, and 75% of our span? Well, that's easy. We're gonna do 0.25, which is 25% times our LRV, I mean, times our span, and that's gonna give us you know, 25% of our span, which in this case happens to be 7.5. Now, if we want to continue finding each percentage of our span, we could actually add this number, whatever it may be, um, to, to the previous number, and we could keep adding it until we get to 100%, or we could um, keep using this formula, you know, 50% times our span, gives us 15 and then that number which is 15 plus our LRV 45 PSI so now we have all the nine points of our nine point calibration test and we would actually use these numbers to test our you know transmitter you know pressure transmitter in this case and what we would want what we would hope for is that when we see that we're testing 30 psi we would hope that our transmitter is sending 4 milliamps because that would be represent 0% of our span we would hope that at 37.5 psi our transmitter is sending 8 milliamps and that that represents 25% of our signal of our span okay and likewise with all of these and the reason we do you know 0 to 100% and then 100% back down to zero percent is because of reproducibility okay this is making sure that our transmitter works on the way up when it's increasing its signal and then when it's decreasing its signal um, I hope this was helpful um, if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the links below and have a good one